Hi, welcome to my channel. In this episode, I'll be showing you how you can make a simple TL494 IC tester. It consists of only a handful of components. For the power supply, you need anywhere from 9 to 15 volts. A lot of volts will work just fine. The entire pin connections are shown. It comes in a 16 pin package. Pin 12 is the VCC7 in the ground. It has two internal air amplifiers. You need to disassemble the air amplifiers by connecting the non inverting terminals both to ground reference then pulling up the inverting terminals pin 2 and pin 15 to 5 volts which is generated by the reference pin pin 14 through a 3 kilo ohms resistor you will need to connect pin 13 which controls the output to 14 basically this is just to configure the output drive transistors as a push-pull driver rather than as a parallel driver the open correctors pin 8 and pin 16 need to be pulled up to 12 volts or the VCC through for 70 to 1 kilo ohms resistor you can connect the connect the open emitters pin 9 and pin 10 to ground the frequency is set by the resistor R1 and the capacitor C1 the formula is given as shown for push-pull the frequency will be half for that for a single end end or parallel operations by push-pull I mean that the output transistors will be operating as complements of each other while in parallel they will be both turning on and off at the same time you can use two LEDs as indicators the then time pin 4, you can pull it down it to ground through a 1 kilo ohms resistor or you can connect this adjustable potentiometer and ensure that you provide a 3.3 volts on the positive side. The then time allows you to control the then time in between the turning on and off of the output transistors and by this you can adjust the duty cycle of both of the output drivers. You need to connect the feedback pin 3 to ground as well. The TF-494 is a very versatile IC and it can be used in many switch mode power supplies, DC to DC converters, as well as inverters. It can be used also as a passive modulation generator whereby you connect pin 13 to ground and the output transistors will be operating in parallel of each other, doubling the current carrying capacity. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. If so, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can check some of my other videos. I wish you a nice time and I'll see you in the next episode.